Section 4.3 talks about the fundamental theorem, theorem, fundamental theorem of calculus. 4.2 will be discussed in class. No lecture video on that. So here, the fundamental theorem of calculus states, if f of x is continuous on an interval from a to b, then the integral from a to b is f of b minus f of a, where f of b is the anti where f of x capital f of x is the anti derivative of little f of x so if i take a derivative of this i'll get simply that take a derivative of this you'll get that which is pretty much section 4.1 so the main use that we're going to do in this section if f of x happen to be positive then this integral from a to b of f of x dx will equal the area between the x-axis and f of x between a and b. So this area under the curve, as long as f of x is always positive, that's what it turns out to be. Now, when we meet in class, I will derive 4.2, or when we meet next class meeting, I will derive 4.2 and tie the two together. But that's how it works out to be. For now, this is all we need to keep in mind. Anytime I want to find an area, well, I got to look at the graph and make sure that f of x is always positive. So when I look at the first problem, it says the graph is not part of the problem, by the way. Find each area bounded by the given curve and the x axis. So x over 2 rise 1 run 2 if x equals and this is a line of course so if x equals 2 let's say uh, you know what I should have rescaled it here let me rescale it so let's say you rise 1 and you run 2 So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Since f of x is always positive, this area under the curve, I could use the area of a trapezoid, or I could say that's the integral from 2 to 6 of x over 2 dx. Basically, what we're saying, find the antiderivative of this, the one half you ignore. The antiderivative of x, add 1 to the power, divide by that. So pretty much we're saying it's x squared over 4 and this is the notation we use since this is capital F of x you substitute the upper limit first so that is 36 over 4 minus 4 over 4 on a test this is sufficient for the homework that's 9 minus 1 that is 8 square units if they ever gave us units and there it is that represents the area under the curve now, you might not need this for the previous problem, but for this problem, it will be very hard not to use calculus because the previous problem consisted of a polygon. This, however, is not. This is a graph that looks like this. And I'm not going to scale it at all. We're going to say x equal 1. Let's say 1 is right there. And let's say 3 is right there. So we're talking about this area and we know that when x is 3 y is 27 and when x is 1 y is 1 but this area now is very hard to find if you want to use just areas of triangles or rectangles because that's not a polygon it doesn't consist of straight lines so what we do we say the area is the integral from 1 to 3 of x cubed dx so first things first you need to find the antiderivative the antiderivative is x to the fourth over 4 Again, this is the notation that the book uses, or all calculus courses uses. So the 1 fourth you leave out, drop the 3 in, 3 to the 4th minus 1 to the 4th. On a test or in a quiz, there it is. This is 1 fourth, 3 to the 4th, that's 81 minus 1. 
that is one fourth into 80 that turns out to be 20 units and if I get to the next example 9 minus x squared so they did say run between the curve and the x-axis well this is an upside down parabola we know let's say this is in threes this is nine the graph looks like this and if you want the area that's going to be the integral from negative three to three of 9 minus x squared dx. Again, you need to find the antiderivative. And that's 9x minus x cubed over 3. And if I evaluate that from negative 3 to 3, that would be 9 times 3 minus 27 over 3 minus 9 times negative 3 minus a negative 27 over 3. On a test, you're done right there. For the homework, that's 27 minus 9, uh, minus times minus, plus 27, minus 9. <laughs> Excuse me. That is 18 plus 18. That's 36 square units, if they ever give us units. And if we move on to the next problem, 1 over x squared is a graph that looks like this. And if I'm running between x equal 1 and x equal 4, Again, not the scale. Area will equal the integral from 1 to 4 of 1 over x squared dx. Well, that is the integral from 1 to 4 of x to the negative 2 dx. Add 1 to the power, divide by that. That is negative 1 over x evaluated from 1 to 4. That is negative 1 over 4 minus negative 1 over 1. That is negative 1 over 4 plus 1. That turns out to be 3 fourth square units, whatever the units are, if they ever provide that. And that's pretty much it. Finding the area again in our meeting. Tomorrow I will tie this to the area and show you how it's derived.